Hello everybody, this is Rolos Winter Bros. In this video presentation, we're going to show you how to get an account started with DAS 3D uh, and go how to get started with the DAS Install Manager, DAS Studio, and Hexagon so that you can begin your 3D journey. The first step in creating your uh, DAS account will be to go to DAS3D.com as you can see we've done it here and once you're at the uh, that website you'll just go ahead and click this little human looking figure up here on the right and go down here to the bottom where it says register and that'll take you to the registration page uh, to get you an account started so you can get the free DAS Studio and you can also get the free Hexagon and there's a lot of content you'll get that's free too so once you're there just go ahead and fill in the first name and the last name blocks so we're just going to put in some uh, fake ID stuff here, but we're going to actually establish a real account to get this started. So we would just say, oh, let's say it's Johnny at uh, late as usual. What you, of course, in here, you'd put in your actual first name and last name. You'd put in your uh, email account, and of course, you'd make up a password. So we're going to just go ahead and put some garbage in there. Then once you get done with all that, you'll of course you'll want to before you hit submit here, if you you might want to read the terms of service, the privacy policy, and the end user license agreement. Of course, you can click those and go straight to them, or you can right click them. Uh, and we're using Windows Edge here, so you can go to those sites and you can read through here. Uh, recommend that you at least peruse through it if you don't want to read all the fine text it is a lot of information but we do recommend before you actually create the account that you go to each of these take a quick peek we'll go ahead and open them up real quick uh, the second one here is the privacy policy if you go here you'll see it's really that one's pretty quick and easy to read and of course you got the end user license agreement which you can scroll all the way through it's got a lot of stuff in it. Like I said, we, we think you should at least read it one time uh, before you uh, create an account. And then, of course, you're going to have to sign it once you get there. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to fill this in with some real information and create our account so we can show you how it goes from there. And here you go. Once you've signed up for an account, you're going to get this uh, thanks for signing up screen. And, of course, they're going to send you a confirmation e email. And in that email, you're going to get a link to the uh, DAS Install Manager, which you're going to really like how it initially sets up your uh, free applications, DAS Studio, Hexagon, and Hexagon, along with uh, some content to get you started. We hope you don't find this frightening, but actually to get all the benefits from uh, the DAS 3D, you need to have the new account. So we want you to not too, feel too... Uh, too scared you know everybody wants to have an account on their website these days so yeah you should get a new account so that you can enjoy all the benefits of Adafruit DAS 3D and we just want to throw in a real quick disclaimer uh, this we're creating this account to uh, help you out so you can see how it's done and the things that are going to happen so you know what to expect uh, we're not trying to fraud uh, DAS 3D or any other vendor or broker we're just trying to demonstrate uh, so that new users won't be scared, they can get the new account with S3D, start enjoying all the benefits that are available, the free content and all the purchasable content that's available to this vendor and broker. So we hope that you're not too scared to do this and we go ahead and get you an account uh, with DAS 3D. So let's go ahead and move on. So the next thing is you're going to get an email from DAS 3D to confirm uh, the new account you want to set up. And you can have a little link here, a little confirm your email link. Uh, so once you get that email, just click that link, and it'll take you to back to the website to get you started uh, on your new account and how to get start getting your uh, apps and content downloaded and installed from DAS 3D. So once you click that link, you're going to re be returned back to the uh, DAS 3D site, and they're going to automatically start the download for the uh, DAS Install Manager, which is called the DEM. Uh, and you'll see here's ours popped up at the bottom. So you just save it into a place that is uh, easy to remember. For us, we're going to just save it on the desktop so we don't forget. So we'll just use click save as, and we're going to put ours on the actual our desktop, just so we don't forget where we put it. You can put it in any folder that's good for you. Uh, this is going to install version 1.1.0.74 1 
uh, the 32-bit Windows version of the DAS Install Manager. Uh, we'll go ahead and save it there. And then once it's finished, it's uh, scan and all, we'll go ahead and go run it. You can run it directly if you're using Windows uh, 10 and uh, Edge. You can just run it from directly from here. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and uh, pull ours up and run it from uh, the Windows Explorer. So before we run the uh, DAS Install Manager, we just want you to know that the first time you run it, you should just uh, to get the most benefits, you should just let follow the prompts and use all the default settings that it's going to pose up to you. Uh, for locations and applications to install. So we're back on the desktop here. We're going to go ahead and run the uh, DAS Install Manager. And we're going to let it do its thing, uh, getting our applications and our content installed. So Windows is going to give us a little prompt there that we want to go ahead and install it anyway because it went from the Microsoft Windows Store, but that's okay. I'm not sure what kind of prompt you get if you're not a if you're a Mac user, uh, but it should be. Uh, should work the same uh, when we install the DAS install manager. Should work similar on both systems. And once you get the uh, setup propped, you'll just want to want to go ahead and through and uh, click next. You'll want to go ahead and accept the uh, agreement. You can read all the details by scrolling down through it. Like I said, we recommend the very first time you do this, you should read everything. And you click next again. Uh, we recommend that you go ahead and just use the default uh, directory path. Uh, if unless you know what you're doing in Windows or uh, even on the Mac, just uh, like I said, we recommend you use the defaults. And then we just go ahead and click next, and then we click next again, and we'll let it do its installation. And once it's completed that, we'll just go ahead and click next again. So here it's going to ask us if we can go ahead and launch the DAS install manager, which we're going to go ahead and leave that checked because we do. We want to go ahead and get all our default content downloaded and installed so we we'll just go ahead and click finish here so when it pops up you're going to put in the email address you used to register your account and you're going to put in the password uh, you might want to check this remember me box so that you don't have to plug them in all the time if you like but if you're on a shared computer or something and you just want to punch them in all the time that's fine so we're going to go ahead and plug ours in here and then we're going to hit the start button and then we'll show you where it goes from there. And then once you hit the start button, it'll do a little thinking here. Hopefully it'll pop up. So you're going to get this little pop up and it's going to say, uh, uh, click OK. It's going to download and install DAS Studio Pro, Hexagon, and uh, some Genesis content to make things easier for you to get started with uh, the DAS 3D products. So you just go ahead and click OK here and just let it do its thing. Here's the live shot. We just go ahead and we're going to uh, go ahead and maximize this real quick on the screen. So it's going to show you here's the DAS, this is the DAS install manager. We're going to go click ours to show the busy first because we like to see what's currently downloading and installing. And you can see all this content at the top here is going to be downloaded and installed automatically. And that's going to take a little bit of time. You can see down here it was 4.5 gigs of stuff. Uh, we recommend that you just go ahead and uh, walk away and let it do all its thing. And then we're going to come back in shortly and we're going to let this complete up. And we're going to show you how it looks as soon as that finishes up. That's a lot of content and data, did down uh, download uh, we're down to 2.1 gigs we just wanted to jump in here real quick and show you that it is still progressing uh, it's going to be wrapping up shortly it's a lot of uh, stuff to get you started uh, 4.5 gigs of applications and content is wow quite nice for uh, starting out for free of course they have a lot of products that are uh, purchasable that are really really nice too so once you get started in DAS Studio and Hexagon you're really gonna love those products too so we're gonna go ahead and pause out again uh, just to give this time to finish up before we go to the next step of course once it finishes up it's gonna want to access your computer and uh, install stuff so we'll just uh, keep saying yes here to all the okay download all the uh, all the content 
I guess now it's uh, some of the stuff it has to install needed permission for Windows. So we went ahead and let it do that. Uh, so in the meantime, we're just going to let that go. It's going to install some files that are required for your system. So there might be different things. So just uh, go ahead and let it do its thing on your, your system so that it can start working. You're going to keep getting a lot of prompts probably for uh, if you didn't run it as administrator originally uh, to, to let it uh, do all the installation of the support files and everything it requires for your system. Uh, we're running a Windows system here so it was installing some of the Windows support files. And you can see here the one that's currently was installing was the DAS Studio 4.10. So we'll go ahead and let this run and we'll be right back. As you can see some of the files here, uh, the Genesis stuff was already downloaded. It's going to do all the Genesis 2, the Genesis 3, and Genesis 8 stuff. These are all the starter essential bundles which come free with getting an account and to be used in your DAS Studio. And you're going to love the content that you get with those. We'll just go ahead and let it continue to install. We want to get this all done. It's getting near the end of its cycle here. You can see that we had a couple environments running. You uh, can get some outfits they provided free of charge. Uh, they give you enough stuff to get started and to explore DAS Studio and Hexagon and really have a, a good uh, foundation to get started on your uh, 3D journey. Okay, it looks like we finished and it's moved over to the installed tab over here. So if you went over here there's uh, in the DAS install manager the default install you have these three tabs at the top they're ready to download ready to install and installed uh, you can see we also got some more content here that wasn't installed uh, with our uh, initial installation so what we want to do is uh, you don't want to use GoZ unless you get ZBrush uh, we don't have uh, if you don't have Photoshop uh, you don't want to install the 3D bridge, but you do probably want to install this Genesis Starter Essentials. Uh, so if you just check that, and then it'll tell you the side, how many of you got selected in the side down here in the lower left. And there's a Start Queue button, and then uh, of course there's this Install After Download. Uh, these are all the default settings. We didn't want to change anything, so we just recommend you keep it that way. So we'll go ahead and get that and started, and we'll start that install, and it'll show you the download progress over here. And then of course. Uh, We'll just go ahead and let that run really quick because you do want to go ahead and get the Genesis Starter Essential installed too. Now that we've gotten all that installed, we're going to really quickly cover the DAS Install Manager one more time. Uh, of course, you got the three tabs. If you leave it the default settings, you have the three tabs at the top. Uh, this tab will show when you log into your uh, DIM, into your DAS account, it'll show you what items are available for download. Uh, this tab here, if you've downloaded them, uh, uh, and you haven't installed them yet, it would show whatever products have been downloaded and ready to install. If you go back here to this tab, this it'll install it after download at the bottom here. Uh, that's the default setting because most people, once they download, they want to go ahead and put it in their system so they can use it with the DAS Studio or Hexagon uh, or whatever other application you use because there are other settings that you can do up here with this little gear to, for like maybe Carrara and some other products available to DAS. So if you leave this checked, uh, this will almost always be empty. Or if you got an interrupted, uh, your system reboot or some kind, something interrupted the install, uh, it'll still list them in here. But you can see these little numbers. There's a three here for ready to download, a zero for ready to install. And of course, this last tab here will show all the products that you've installed uh, using the DAS install manager. Or even if you've manually installed them, it does every time it, you start up the DIM it will uh, go through and check your system to see what has been installed so now this uh, says only 55 it doesn't sound like a lot but a lot of these starter essential packages uh, consist of a whole bunch of products uh, they're not just like one little thing so even though it says 55 up here it could be quite a lot of stuff and you can see here by scrolling to this list that uh, a lot of stuff has been given to you uh, hexagon 2.5 and here's the content bundle has been installed uh, looks like 22.9 megabytes of uh, content for Hexagon. Uh, of course, most of the stuff is DAS Studio related. 
Uh, you got all kinds of good stuff in here to get you started. So this is what you'll get uh, if you use the default settings. We hope you enjoyed this video presentation and you've gotten your account set up and established now with DAS3D and you're ready to move on to other things in your 3D journey. Uh, we'll have uh, another follow-up uh, couple videos, one for DAS Studio, how to get started in it really quickly. Uh, so it'll be DAS, probably be DAS Studio Made Simple. And then we'll have a Hexagon Made Simple uh, to help you get started in Hexagon. But for now, this uh, gets you started with all the free content and applications available from DAS3D with your account. And you should be able to move forward from this point forward. And we hope you have a great day.